I know that this road has been very hard. And yet here you are, building this magnificent family. What's going on in that head of yours? Something a little piece of it. Is it dead? They're not afraid of anything. But I am. I'm afraid of losing someone I love. Dominic Toretto. You're about to learn all about fear. Boom! You built such a beautiful life, filled with love and family. I never got a chance. You stole that from me. My future. My family. And now, I'm gonna break yours. Piece by piece. Hello and welcome to this What Do You Want to Watch spoiler cast for Fast X, the 10th entry in the Fast and the Furious franchise, the 11th film in the series uh, where we don't have friends, we've got family. I'm your host, Ash, hopefully join me today, Dylan Blight. Uh, hello, happy to be here to talk about how they cannot seriously call Fast, they can't call it Fast 10 Part 2, they'll drive my head in. No, I have a pitch for what they should call the next one. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we've watched Fast 10. It's crazy. It's out. Uh, if you want to hear us talk about the last nine Fast and Furious movies, check out our podcast. It's about family, where we talk about all the Fast and Furious movies in r- normal and Redux editions. It's pretty great. So you can go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with that said, let's just jump straight into our discussion of Fast X. Uh, but please be aware we'll be freely discussing anything and everything about the movie, uh, including after credit scenes, cameos, action sequences, stuff. So go to the cinema and watch Fast X. All right, let's jump to our discussion of Fast X, directed by Louis, Louis Letirier. Uh, screenplay by Dan Manzow and Justin Lin. Story by Jane, Dan Manzow, Justin Lin, and Zach Dean. Based on characters by Gary Scott Thompson. Starring Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Jason Statham, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Jason Mamar, John Cena, Jordana Brewster, Natalie Emmanuel, Sung Kang, Brie Larson, Alan Richardson, Daniela Melkor, Scott Eastwood, Helen Mirren, Charlize Theron, Rita Marino and Leo Abello Perry. Dominic Toretto must protect his crew and family from Dante Reyes, the son of drug lord Hernan Reyes, seeking revenge for the loss of his family's fortune from the heist Rio de Janeiro. I've got a review up at explosionnetwork.com. I gave Fast X an 8 out of 10 and said, uh, when the credits started rolling after screaming internally, what the fuck? Uh, I was disappointed that we have to wait an indeterminable amount of time to see what happens next, which is all you can ask from the first part of a part, first part of a story. The building blocks have been set to bring this series to a grand finale with a lot of interesting directions to go. If the next film has performances, if the next film or two has performances like Chase Moe's, we are sure to have fantastic final ride. Dylan, what did you think of Fast X? It's a wild, <laughs> it's a wild, wild movie. That's for sure. Uh, I really, you can tell they're in the the finale thing, at least. Although we may be very confused as to how many movies are part of this upcoming finale trilogy sequel film thing. Uh, you can at least tell yep. that, that we're in it. And it is the perfect time to introduce Jason Momoa, who's really has the chance to be the only good villain in this entire franchise. And I say that, in a way that is to say every other villain who was actually good has joined the family. And if he's the only one... That's not true. <laughs> oh, who you got? Well, I guess the other Shaw. Not really. Well, he still turned good by then. He kind of helped in that yep. one mission. So li- literally every, ba- every other bad guy who had any minor... But even he was like... Luke, Luke Evans' bad guy was like, fine. He wasn't like, good. You know, yeah. He was a fine bad guy. Jason Statham was a bad guy. Good bad guy. Yeah, he's a good guy, you know? 
The Rock I mean, is the bad guy. It's interesting that the, the Jason Good Momoa plays the son of the only yeah. one of the only <laughs> villains that didn't turn on. Yeah, one of so, the only villains who gets dispatched <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> yeah. So we get this really fantastic, and I'm sure a majority of the positive reviews and um, word on this movie is going to focus on Jason Momoa, which is totally fair because he is at 11 out of 10 and absolutely rocking it um i really can't wait to dig into some behind the scenes stuff on this because i need sit down interviews i need someone to tell me if this was a choice if this is a direction if this was all him i i want to know <laughs> it is I'm such pretty a sure it was all him or good very on him much him because <laughs> It's a it's fucking good shit. I don't <laughs> that scene where he's sitting there like painting the nails of a corpse. Two corpses. Good shit. Yeah. Yep, two corpses. That is a good scene. Um what else? So the I mean, the other comparison, I guess, that's gonna happen a lot with this movie, and it's like sort of it's true, but it's sort of annoying that there's no other way to put it. But it is like fast and furious. It's in the Infinity War of Fast and Furious. Like that is the Yeah. That's totally what it is. They it the movie nearly uh, follows a similar yeah. structure. It pulls all the characters apart, sends them in different directions, introduces li- really big storylines for all of them, or like seems to drag some of them out to the yep. point that you, as you're approaching the end of the movie, you know there's no way they're all going to wrap up because, of course, they're not. Um, and then you know that they're all, you know, there's a big climactic cliffhanger moment. And um, it is, it might be the biggest cliffhanger I can remember in a movie in recent memory. It's a literal dam exploding. Like, I don't know if you get bigger, th- <laughs> a bigger, like, just next week on. It's not a cliffhanger. Cops, it's a dam. 90120. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's very much end of yeah, season. Like, end of season you know? moment. Yeah. Not yeah. a mo- not a, mo- not a It's a, cla- it's a classic cliffhanger. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really, really good. I think the only downside, the only the negative sides to the movie is that every time. Like, all the characters are split up, and, like, basically any time you're away from Vin and Momoa, because they basically always share scenes, or if they're not in the room together, they're still sharing, like, a, yeah. a an act scene or chapter together sort of thing. Um, anytime you're away from them, all the other characters, as much as I love them, they're just not anywhere near as interesting in this movie. I just, I just need yeah. more of Momoa and talking shit to Vin Diesel and then... Vin just like sternly not reacting to anything while <laughs> Momoa's over here like cackling. <laughs> Pushing down his feelings to make out yep. with Momoa. Yeah. yeah, pretty much, uh. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only sort of downside. No, I agree, um, yeah. The, they, they're such a focus of the movie that none of the other characters kind of have overly interesting or have much to do. I mean, you've got the, the team of Han, Tej, uh, Roman and... Uh, Han? Did you no, say Han? I said Han. Ramsey. Ramsey. Oh, the Just yeah. bumbling from a misadventure to misadventure. Yep. Whether it's going through sores or going in a, getting yep. in a shipping container or going to uh, go to going to deal with the visit Pete Davidson. Yep. The biggest cameo in the movie, Pete, Pete Davidson. Biggest surprise. Uh, <laughs> biggest surprise. Yeah. Biggest surprise. Uh, Pete Davidson's in this movie, um, and gives and has hand hard eating uh, spiked cupcakes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Why? fun. There's, there's scenes. The problem is that their scenes are fun, but they're just nothing. <laughs> like, yes, there's just nothing to them. They're, they're still enjoyable because you like those characters and the banter's good and whatever else, but there's like nothing going on there. Their big thing is Roman wants to be a leader. Yeah. He wants to be considered a leader. Yeah. <laughs> and the way this movie ends, it feels like this was like a placating storyline for him yeah for real life yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah it does um my other gr- i have two other gripes i i feel like this one was much more cgi heavy than oh, for sure. the last few yeah um like especially a lot of the scenes during that the rome section like the car looked very like it still needed and- like a couple yeah, of Yeah, there's, there's a scene where the scene where it's reversing down the stairs looked yes. really bad. Looked yep. really, really... That was probably the worst moment I noticed in the movie. Um, and it's really... it. The weird thing is that the whole... You can't even argue like, oh, there's no way to do it practically because they drove a fucking tank down a road in another movie. Practically. <laughs> uh, yeah, dro- I don't know if you can put it... Practically, so. 
it's possible you can put it down to the delays due to the change in directors. They're just shortening the time span. Because I don't think they, like, they didn't push the release date from memory. No. No. So, whether that's to blame for that. Well, they only the- they only got, what, a week into the shooting and they swapped? Yeah. Something like that, I but think. But there, there was a, like, couple of month delay. Yeah. So. But still, the, the movie, it's not one of these ones where it's, like, um, Zack Snyder, Joss Whedon, Justice League. It's, like, it's it's just his movie at this point, like... Yeah, but that's still however many months less c- time. CGI do animation yeah. time, you know? Yeah. So, um, uh, then we'll get into my other gripe probably further into the discussion. Um, really, I thought it's interesting that the movie opens with the barbecue and is kind of should have been a foretelling for was to how the movie was going to come end. Because it's kind the of the barbecue. opposite to every... Fast and Furious movie, where it they ends end with, with some sort of crazy situation and ends with a barbecue. Yeah. This one starts with a barbecue. Drinking Corona still. Drinking Corona me still. With your, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, poor marketing. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Universal <laughs> Australia, but come on. You should have been serving Coronas. Um, <laughs> um, we've got Cypher coming in, you know, at the start of the film, all beat and bruised after uh, it turns out Dante has uh, stolen her or very Joker-esque plan of, like, kidnapping all of her crew's family uh, and turning them against her. Uh, I've written my review. It's uh, crazy. Someone at the Fast and Furious franchise watched one of Charlie's Theron's previous movies and was like, oh, we should put her in a, like, fight scene. We should have her do more than just uh, stand behind a computer or stand in a glass cage. She'd actually do action sequences. It's crazy. I think this is probably her best performance as Cypher. At least the one I enjoyed the most so far. Yeah, well, she actually gets to do stuff. Um, and also, her haircut isn't atrocious. <laughs> that does help. That does help. She looks cool in this movie. Yeah. I hate that dreadlocks thing on, on her. And the bowl cut? No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> she got the yeah. emo haircut, with, but blonde. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Very cool. Um, yeah, so okay. we've got the whole uh, Dante of it all, I guess. Um, yeah, I think, he, you know, he gets a great introduction in that se- fight sequence with Charlie's. Um, well, I mean, his introduction the like the start of the Oh, yeah, the, really, the cut, recutting of the... The recutting of Fast Five. Yeah. Which is a crazy seamless. Than I thought it would like, be, like... Yeah, they just fit it in there perfectly. I'm like, oh, I'm just watching Fast Five again. <laughs> sure, why not? I was yeah. like sitting there watching it go, this is a really good fucking movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. This action scene is good, hey. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I think, you know, even though it is kind of like it, the idea of someone related to another villain coming back is like such, uh, they've kind of already can I, used Can I just point out? Were they in this one movie reveal that a villain three. from yeah villain from five movies prior uh, has a son who now wants revenge? Bad guy. They also reveal Mister Nobody has a daughter, and then they uh, reveal played that, by Brie Larson. Yeah, yeah, played by Brie Larson, and then they revealed that um, Elena has called? a sister. Elena had a sister. <laughs> yeah, so there's three family reveals in this. There could be more. That other guy. Who turns? We'll, we'll get to him. He could be related, for all I know. Who's to say? I'm pretty the, sure he was the the brother of the dude from the first film. Just fucking. Or the it, yeah. illegitimate son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that was kind of. <laughs> it, I mean, it is all about family, as we like to say. Yeah, uh, yeah I think Dante, like. Just well, fantastic across the board, but you know, obviously, he's crazy and like ahead of them the entire movie. Uh, almost the extent of it being completely unrealistic. Uh, he spent a long him. time planning, but you know, how can you plan for Dom to like show up from the back of a plane? How can you plan for him to end up on that one dam? Uh, there's a lot of you know, AI. I guess, you know. Chat GBT. What will Dominic Toretto do in this scenario? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
crazy. All the prompts are correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we are also introduced to Tess or Little Miss Nobody is uh, uh, Ames, the, played by Alan Richardson, calls her uh, the two opposing sides of the agency. Uh, mm-hmm. Ames dep- wanting to shut down uh, the family. Uh, very reminiscent of Hobbs in his first appearance. Um, and then, you know, Tess trying to help the family, you know, however she can. Uh, neither get a lot to do, but, you know, it's cool they're there. <laughs> I appreciate, uh, I appreciate Brie Larson, I guess, like. She's fun. Yeah. She's fun, yeah. And then she get, she takes one little scratch to the shoulder and she's out. I think she got shot, but. <laughs> oh, okay. It's fine. It's hard to tell. You know. Um, yeah, and then you know, we, uh, who else? We've got Letty. She gets captured. So we've got this whole Rome sequence. Very cool, I think. Like the fireball mind thing. Biggest I action thought. scene in the movie, I feel, was the Rome sequence. Yeah, yeah. Which again, he says homage to Fast Five. So yeah, you know, very it all goes back to movie. it. I mean, this movie is very meta. There is so many callbacks and like photos and video footage. Um, you know, of course, there's the there's the mandatory moment of uh, Dom looking at a photo of Brian and then the music plays, uh, dun, dun, even dun, though he's dun, still alive. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, that was really fun. Um, I yeah, like how so- anytime something bad happens in these movies at the moment, Dom always looks directly at the camera and goes. Brian's safe. <laughs> Brian's, Him and the kid are worry. okay. <laughs> don't worry. Brian's safe. Yeah. You know. We will not be seeing them though, but they are safe. <laughs> They're definitely somewhere. Mm. Not here. Uh, we do see a lot of, uh, li- speaking of Brian, we see a little, lot, lot of li- little Brian in this film. Yeah. Uh, from Dom trying to t- teach him how to drive or drift, actually, at the start That's of cool. the movie. Yeah. You know? Almost had it, yeah. Uh, to him, smashing at Hot Wheels Unleashed. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, he even does the line. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. winning. That's right. So. I really, I thought he was really good, that kid. Yeah. I And I enjoy having, I think having the end of this franchise focus on Dom's, like, blood family is a like a fitting obviously mm. sort of thing to have the the franchise f- to focus on but um yeah I, I thought that kid did really well i mean obviously he's just being a kid in danger for the for the most part yeah. but his back and forth with john Cena, which we can get to and um, yes. his relationship with vin diesel and all that like all his chemistry of everyone in the movie was really good i felt yeah it has the fun banter and like poking fun at roman and <laughs> yeah all that kind of stuff you know Really fitting in. Uh, yeah, so Jacob at some one point comes and saves everybody. Saves uh, little Brian and is tasked with protecting him. And yep. man, this is not the Jacob that we saw in the last movie. No. This this Jacob has personality. Yeah. This Jacob, this Jacob's like, hey, you know all the trauma that I went through this last several years? All those years of my childhood? Ha <laughs> ha, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how long do you it. reckon this movie is after the last one? Maybe like what five, six, seven years? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you, they never put numbers. It's got to be anything. like I'm trying. It's got to be like ten years, four years, maybe. I don't know. Because yeah, years? Brian's like a little Brian's like a toddler. Yeah, or like toddler. old enough for you know. The, obviously, the moment I remember is like Letty just giving him the the cross. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so but maybe I don't like really five know. years. Yeah. yeah, they can never and it, thank they can never put years on these things because they always go back and change. Stuff, I mean, so. they did literally say several years during this, so did I they? guess technically it's whenever the release of the movies was. I don't know. Doesn't like, matter, oh, but... back in twenty eleven, they did yeah. the, the real job or whatever. But I, I feel like it's long enough time yeah. period for that for Jacob to chop and just come on have got Vin, through shit. Come do make another one of your short films you know yeah about you and jacob just, just having those back. awkward conversations right. trying to find common ground you know and then you two bopping out to the 
the music they listen to in the car. Why not? Yes, that's what I want. I mean, <laughs> it's it's. I mean, this is the John Cena in this franchise that most people would prefer anyway. Yeah. Him having you fun. get it for jokes. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is he dead? No, of course he's not. Well, the, uh, you know, if we're coming towards the end of the film, that's there is the cameo that at the very end of the film, which I feel undercuts everything that happens right before. How does it undercut? Because, yeah, I don't. Uh, why do you think that undercuts? Because oh, you, now you, you confirm that nobody can die. In this oh, yeah, but we already knew that. Is that. I, I, see, that doesn't bother me at all. That if that's what's annoying you, yeah, I I did not have the same reaction. My reaction. It's was, all right if you have like several years between things to be like, oh, you kind of forget. But it was like five minutes ago, John Cena died heroically, and you're like, that's really sad. Oh, this character who definitely died three movies ago is back. No one dies in this. Movie. Well, John Cena's not dead then. No, he's definitely not dead. No one's fucking dead. No one dies in these movies. We know that. Except Dante's Let me dad. tell you about a character called Han. <laughs> <laughs> and how he was introduced in a movie called Tokyo Drift, and then they did Fast and Furious 4. It was actually set years before, and then they did Fast and Furious 5. It was actually still set before Fast and Furious 6, Tokyo Drift. And then they did Fast and Furious 6, which was still set before Tokyo Drift. And then we finally get to Tokyo Drift, where it's revealed that finally Jason Statham is the person who kills Han in Tokyo Drift. Whoa, shocker. Then we get to Fast and Furious 7, and then you got the guy trying to do the killing, and he's come back, and he kills Han at the start of that movie. But then they're like, go Fast and Furious 8, and they're like, actually, maybe we'll bring Han back. And then they do Fast and Furious 9, and they like, bring Han back, and they reveal that actually, in this whole time in between Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, and Fast and Furious 9 that he was in a secret operation working for the agency who was only introduced in Fast and Furious 6 and we hadn't heard of them until then and we didn't hear of Kurt Russell and we didn't hear of Lil Nobody but he's been there the entire time and then Han works with him does all these secret jobs and then when he was actually about to die and get hit by the car that was being driven by Jason Statham somehow Hold video on. game antics happens survives <laughs> so how do you feel how do you feel <laughs> How did you feel when that submarine opened up and uh, Giselle popped out? Dude next to me, well, the Royal Cross goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I nearly, I did say it, of course, but in my head, I'm thinking, good reaction, buddy. Fair, totally fair reaction. I went, eh, fuck it. I don't care, like, <laughs> I, 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 somehow Giselle has returned. <laughs> it's like, I, because she I died feel like falling off six. the airplane. Right? Yeah, she fell off an airplane. Which I got to be honest, in the terms of characters coming back from being dead, falling off an airplane is pretty fucking tame. I can believe that. Yeah. Did they I go back and check to see? Just like, I, we I didn't check the, the body. We see, did the not thing, check the body. <laughs> the thing assumed. that worries me, I, I, I'm more going. You you tell me she's back. I go. Look, I've been waiting for her to come back for about three movies at this point. So none of that shocks me. <laughs> They're all grieving and then they start walking away. <laughs> Giselle's like, hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best thing is, you know, because this franchise them in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> this franchise loves whenever they retcon something, they love a good let's re-edit a movie scene as as they've done in this movie. And yeah. I feel like every movie since five or six they're like let we, we love re-editing scenes to add context <laughs> from another scene so i can't wait to next movie to see how the fuck they're gonna explain that because it's gonna be the absolutely wildest explanation and then they're gonna sit there dust their hands and go that makes sense doesn't it and everyone in the cinema is gonna go yeah. <laughs> you'll see she bounced off the wheel <laughs> it's Landed she in landed another on plane. That plane. She landed took on off. another dude's body. Cipher was there because Cipher's been behind everything since then. We know that. So Cipher picks her up. She lost her memory because that's a good that's catch all. all. That's a good catch all 2020 to explain things. And then she doesn't remember anything. Um, and I mean, look, good. The good news is this for Han fans, of which I am. It means my boy can actually get a happy ending. Ultimately, ho- hopefully. Dude. End of the friend. You, you know that if the next one's the final movie or the one after, whatever it be, you know this is going to do Lord of the Rings Return of the King half an hour of fucking... It'll be a half hour yeah. finish. It's going to be a half hour epilogue. Every character's going to get a... How they finish. And I'm telling you, if Gise- Giselle and Han, if, that, if the movie finishes with them like settling down in Tokyo like they always wanted pr- properly together, 
I might share a tear. You go home crappy. Yeah. Like, no, I'll be fine with that. No, that's that's I'm happy. Yeah, I'm totally yeah. fine with that. Speaking of Han, how do you feel about his interaction with uh, Old Maid Decatur? Um, made him. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it was fine. It was they didn't anger you. Which well, no, I, I feel like I've, I've got, I, I got out my anger at them. I still don't love turning Deckard Shaw good um, because he was a really bad dude and he made a really good bad guy and whatever, whatever else. Um, it was just a pure misunderstanding, Dylan. Yeah, I don't it think It was about it. family. They put his brother in the hospital, even though he totally deserved it. His introduction is still one of the most badass intros to any Fast and Furious movie. But they that. ruined it because he didn't realize it was a hologram. Yeah. He didn't. It was fucking How was you fooled? It's AI all along. All along. Uh, yeah, I mean, his interaction was fine. They give him a little scene or whatever else. It doesn't really matter because ultimately all they do is send Deckard Shaw off to save his mum, to which I'm going, is that for the sequel? Or is that for like another spin off movie? Like, I'm just, there's a few things in here where I'm like, what's. The... I yeah. guess it's the sequel? Like... Yeah. Uh, we'll get into that in another second. Uh, any other storylines from this film that you really enjoyed? Um, Any I don't know. I did, I did, I did the like Elaine's holograph. sister. I got yeah. to see Danielle Bel- Belichick. 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 Um, Belichick. Um, which she's in like nearly every good movie, Hollywood she's... big action movie at the moment. So yeah. Go her. Um, thanks James Gunn. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't mind that. I was sort of pissed off. I got cheat. I thought I was going to get one actual race in this movie, and then they fucked me. That annoyed me. I was going to get a legit proper drag trick. race. It was a trick. Well, yeah, like he, you know, he won. It's holograms. Blah, blah, blah. So no, it didn't. I want a there's proper no race. There's no rules against using bombs on yes, your opponents. Yes, there is. I think there's murder is not allowed in a drag race. I think that's, I think that's against the it's rules. It's about who fin- crosses the line mm. first. <laughs> No, I can't think of any other storylines. No? How do you feel about Canon? Canon Car. Canon Car is awesome. Let's see if Twisted I wonder Metal can why, pull I want like to know that. why he implemented the idea of shoot, having a mechanism to angle the cannons down. Why not? That's also a good valid point. <laughs> <laughs> Also, can we talk about how crazy a moment is that uh, Dom Dom does several crazy things in this movie, from flying his car into a crane so it turns around and knocks a rolling mine into the canal. Perfect to, timing, perfect shot. To also. using a bit of rebar to put the 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 accelerator down so he can use yep. it as a shield and knock some dude yep. off the bridge. Like, but this is all, this is also one of my favorite things about. Um, Jason Momoa in this movie. He's the audience. Because every time Dom does something, he's the only... Every other character in this movie just treats everything Dom does as totally normal and just doesn't react to it. Every time Dom does something in this movie, Jason Momoa's like, that's just pretty fucking cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> to him, driving a car, being attached to two helicopters, mm. pulling them down, and then hitting Jason Momoa's car with the helicopters, mm. and then drifting in so he can get his son to mm. jump out of the car door into his car. Fucking crazy. It's all about time. And then he drives a car off a dam. Yep. Down a dam, even. Down a dam. Yeah. So in 2001, a, he... Two, no, so two, two, 2002, he just jumped off a dam in, in the movie Triple X. Now he's driving down them. Vin Diesel's career has come places, I tell you. Freaking crazy. Just crazy. Uh, yeah. So, of course, the ending is Han, Roman, Ramsey, and Tej. Dead. Dead. Shot out of the sky. Because old Ames, who we thought was going to be their new Hobbs, yep. uh, was going to be g- good mates with our, our family, turned out to be a bad guy all along. Yep. Or turns out to be still a bad guy all along. I think they're doing the plot of The Departed, which is a movie you probably haven't seen. I've seen The Departed. It's been a while, okay. but... okay. I was gonna say they they so they hired a guy to like go to agency academy and imp, like put himself in the agency to work for that. That's what I got. Absolutely, completely possible. Um, and then you know we're left with Dom at the bottom of the dam, and he's blowing up the dam. How are they gonna survive? They got no cars. Just two people, 
at the bottom of a giant ridge about to be drowned by a bunch of water? Well, no, you know what the answer is. Time travel. <laughs> no, I Listen, should, I should... the next movie, it's uh, everybody dies. That's why he's, at the end, you know, we got the after credit scene. He's moved on to his next target, you know, and then, you know, five years passed. They're like, we got to go back. We've got to save Dom. It's the only way to save humanity because, you know, the agency has been taken over and using all that. They do time AI. travel in the sequel. Hey, they I'm really stuck. are following Marvel movies a bit. They go in. Much. Christopher, uh, Christopher Lloyd has got this DeLorean sitting in the corner. He's like, oh, Marty. <laughs> You're wrong. You missed a very easy answer. Okay, what? Holograms. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> this whole movie, they keep mentioning it. Mr. Nobody, not dead, just in hiding. Right? You know what he's going to show up with right at the end there? Holograms. <laughs> His bunch of holograms. I don't know how the holograms actually save them. He's going to come in, but they will, he's got, right? He's going to have an eye patch. Uh, yeah. He's going to come down from his helicarrier uh, and c- grab him and pull him up. You know, crazy. Uh, also, the next movie should be called Fast Ten Two, uh, and Cipher, Letty, and uh, Giselle should go off and become pop stars. What well, they have said, they're <laughs> planning to do a spin-off female-led movie. They announced a couple years ago. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the next movie. Maybe. Because I because I definitely think potentially the next Fast and Furious movie was is going to be the Hobbs and Shaw two movie. Two? But it's going to be part of this final trilogy. Or final thing, whatever. It gets very, it's very, yeah. It's very it's confusing hard to when, describe what this final part is. It's very confusing when saga. you thought until several weeks ago, there's just two of these left. This until one and the next one. One week ago. <laughs> yeah, one week ago. And Vin Diesel's like, yeah, there's three. I'm like, <laughs> is there? Is there? Like three after this or three including this? Like, what's the. All right. Can we get a definitive number? Yeah, can I have an. Can I have. Got some digits. Got a bit in writing Vin Diesel, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, of course, the after credit scene is uh, much like Vin Diesel. He goes into a 7 S room uh, where a bunch of protection shit's been shown of Hobbs Hello, and his family. And... Would you like to play a game? Yeah. Uh, and Hobbs ta- it takes off, the dude takes off his mask, and it was Hobbs. Uh, and he says, uh, not, not a, hard to find. Not that hard to find, yes. Son of ditch, son of ditch, son of bitch. Son of a <laughs> bitch. I can't say it. How's he say it? He, sk- he skips a verb there somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 fine. <laughs> son of a bitch. No, he doesn't say some. No, son. Yeah. He says son, son, son of the bi- son of no, yeah, whatever. He's gray hair. Yeah, gray, 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 gray hobs. Gray hobs. Looks good. Yeah. I mean, we. I hope that's on the action Almost figure. kind of been announced. <laughs> I mean, it just further cements my idea that this is like five years later and there's like, you know, <laughs> they got to go back. <laughs> you know. Fucking hell. Uh, you know what my favorite yeah, line this whole movie actually is? And I'm yeah. really just, the, my favorite line, I gotta say it before I forget, was the one where they like, they have the joke between Jacob and the kid about not saying shit. And then he goes, he goes to say, holy shit, when he shoots off the cannon or whatever. And he's like, no, no, it's, it's allowed. Um, uh, Stub and toes, uh, no, song lyrics, stub toes, song lyrics, stub and toes, cannon and, toes. and cannons. And I was like, man, that was a very big missed opportunity that you didn't make that your review subheader <laughs> head tagline. Mm. <laughs> I was saving it because I thought we were going to do an episode of It's About Family. That was my <laughs> intro, you know. <laughs> it's a good line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want to discuss? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I thought it was, I I think this is a this is this was a solid entry. I was, I was do, do you think they could do the next movie and Dom's not in it? Well, no, I think Dom has you to just be left in, that my, cliff, you just leave that cliffhanger for My worry is the marketing. Oh, they're gonna spoil the shit of it. Yeah, that's my worry. Like I Unless you, you market it and not show Dom at any point during the film. That's what they need to do. The, like think yeah. about the end game marketing, right? They never reveal <clears throat> yeah. shit. You need to follow that. The marketing cannot show Dom. 
maybe he does die and they have to go find a like magical item that will save revive him bring him back from the dead and then we cut to uh ha- uh uh dom in hell uh he's <laughs> driving <laughs> he's driving cars around hell doing crazy stuff in 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 hell against the devil well, I mean, also he's played my, by Jason Momoa. I I assume they're gonna think Dom's dead for a majority of for like the first half of the movie or first act of the movie, right? And Dom will show up. Be at all Dom, point. oh Dom, and oh yeah, Lil Brian was there too. That's sad too. Yeah, I think they. I think I because I assume there's that thing because that that allows them time to show what Dante is doing like after. Because that's only that's only I think that's like the testament to this villain is okay he's killed Vin, so sorry Dom he's killed yeah. Dom so then uh, are we taking the post credit scene as he's moved after on to his the next movie target, yeah. he's killed on t- he's moved on to his next target yeah yeah or is that going on concurrent is that scene concurrent to the movie yeah that's the, that's the thing I feel like if you make it afterwards and he thinks he's succeeded in killing Dom and then the star of the movie is Hobbs and then you get to have Dom come back at a like big moment would it be I mean it, it would be crazy if there's a numbered Fast and Furious movie starring The Rock and Dom's on it that's yeah, the only that's way a, that, that was their agreement he's like look I'll come back I'll do one with that loud mouth fucking unprofessional piece of shit Vin Diesel if I he get one of it. his fucking franchise movies all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fast 11. The Rock, baby. <laughs> the Rock has come back. Yeah, the, <laughs> and then Vin Diesel heard this news and said, there's actually three parts to this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah. It's, I mean, there's going to be so many <laughs> stories around this, you know. How did this happen? Oh, him and Jason and Momoa must have got along because there's Jason Momoa is actually taller than Vin Diesel, and they didn't do the camera trick that he always, him and the Rock always had to, to do to make him look the same height. Because no, Jason gone. Momoa just gets to appear bigger. Because I think Vin Diesel is like this. I cannot be demasculated by this motherfucker. <laughs> He's just too flamboyant. It's yeah, he's like, just too flamboyant. He's like, he can be taller, whatever. <laughs> no, but Vin's also thinking big picture. This is the big bad. This is mm. the the Thanos character, you know? Yeah. He needs to be, you know, Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird they tried to introduce Cypher as this, like, I've been behind the scenes of everything that's happened in your life, Dom. Like, I'm fucking Thanos. And then didn't really hit it off. And then they were like, oh, how can... Oh, fuck, that didn't work. What's the... What can we do for the the actual end game boss then? Mm, Flam, boy, it fuck boy, who's basically the Joker? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that'll do. Man, yeah. Get you a guy who can lick blood off a knife, but also blow raspberries at you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact he blows like raspberries at people like what two, three times this movie. Yes, it's very funny. Uh, every time he just. You know, attributes all the terrible things he's about to do to somebody else and says, yeah. You're just evil. It's yeah. Should I take Hilarious all their money? Oh, you just say evil. <laughs> Should I drive down and blow up the Vatican? No. Okay. Since she's out of. Okay, then. Since, yeah, since you recommend it. She recommend it, but geez, you guys are going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, so all right. Good. Let us know what you thought of Fast X. Uh, by going to explosion.com slash Twitter or jump to Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. If you want to help us out here at What Do You Want to Watch, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Leave us five stars anywhere you can leave five stars or tell people about the show. And if you enjoyed this episode, thought it was worth a dollar, head on over to our Kofi page at explosion.com slash support. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time, keep watching stuff, I guess. I'm coming for you, son. Let's this this Here they come. You will never be able to break my family. No! The morning sunshine. 
You gotta be kidding me.